A CDC panel is expected to meet today to discuss Pfizer's vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11. And a new survey shows that many parents are hesitant to get their children vaccinated. Dr. Byron Jasper with the Bija Clinic in Baton Rouge joins us this morning. Good morning, Dr. Jasper. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing well. Well, one concern that some parents have is that according to this survey is that the long-term effects of the vaccine on their children, such as heart inflammation or anything like that, should parents be worried about that? So in this age group, it's actually pretty rare. The study that they did was about 4,700 or so children in four countries, and that side effect actually happened very rare to the point where they said that the benefits outweigh the risk. The side effect of myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle, is actually more common in those that are about 16 years old up to 29 years old and those that are male. So the five-year-old to 11-year-old category is even more rare in that class than any other class. So what do you say to those parents who are still saying that they will not get their kids vaccinated? So I encourage it. Um, I have a bunch of patients, um, those that range from very young, you know, two or three years old, all the way up to those that are in their 80s. And I recommend it for all of my patients. Those that are a little bit hesitant, it's understood that they are you know, worried about their children. Um, it's a vaccine that's on the newer end, and it also has some risks, but the risks of COVID-19 far outweigh the risk of a vaccine. And more importantly, the side effects that a lot of people are hearing about are so rare and so few and far between that I actually just tell them that it's unlikely that you're gonna have a side effect compared to the likelihood of you're gonna get COVID-19. And the last question is, of course, we've been in this pandemic for almost two years now. So what do you think it is gonna take to get more people, even adults, to get vaccinated? Because there are still a lot of adults on the fence about it. Yeah, so I think the big thing about vaccine hesitancy breaks down into two big categories. One, do your own research if you're able to do so. A lot of people are often listening to a lot of these so-called experts that don't really have as much uh, credibility in the medical background, and they are often taking the words of those that are maybe on social media that are the loudest and proudest, if you will. And if you're not able to do your own research and you're not really sure what to turn, it's always helpful to say, you know what, I actually have someone who's in the primary care field that can guide me. Um, I've told people very often that if you're in legal trouble, you don't wait and say, you know what, I'm gonna ask a friend for legal advice. You go and seek out the help of a professional. So in this instance, for something that's so new or something that's very rare, you wanna to talk to a medical professional, primary care doctor, uh, someone in the pediatric field, someone who's in the family medicine field like myself. And by having that professional that's got that long-term relationship with you, they'll guide you, they'll direct you, and more importantly, they'll help you make an informed decision that's best for you and your family. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Jasper. Of course, we're going to try to post this interview on our website, brproud.com, so that many parents can go back and watch it because you gave some very important information. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.